Hi, got another example here in my series on velocity time graphs. And in this particular example, what we've got is two people moving and uh, one overtaking the other, or basically catching them up. And these can often be quite tricky problems to do. So um, what I'll do is I'll run through this. Uh, you might like to have a go, just pause the video and come back and check uh, how you got on. But basically what we've got is a boy is walking at a constant speed of one and a half meters per second along a straight road. He passes his sister who is standing chatting to a friend. After 28 seconds his sister finishes her conversation with her friend and runs after her brother. She accelerates uniformly from rest at two meters per second per second until she is running at four meters per second. She then runs at this constant speed until she reaches her brother. And what I want you to do is sketch a velocity time graph for the boy and his sister and then calculate the time taken by the girl to reach her brother. OK, well let's just see how we would do this. Well, we'll have to draw a sketch so uh, let's just have the vertical axis, we'll have that as V measured in meters per second and we've got our horizontal axis here for time t. t measured in seconds so again make sure you always label your axes. Now we've got the boy walking at one and a half meters per second so we we'll have a line here going at a constant velocity here one and a half meters per second. Let's just mark that in. We'll put that in red, I think, up here. 1.5. Okay. This is the point when t is naught where the boy passes his sister. Now we know that after 28 seconds, the boy's sister has finished her conversation and starts to run after her brother. Well, let's just say that this is the 28 seconds here. Now she starts to run after the brother and we're told that she starts from rest and accelerates at a rate of 2 meters per second per second until she reaches a speed of 4 meters per second. So let's just mark the 4 meters per second in. Let's say it's about here, say. All right. There's our 4 meters per second per second. So the girl starts to run faster and faster until she gets up to 4 meters per second. Her acceleration is 2 meters per second per second, and that's given by the gradient here. Okay, so we should be able to work out what time this interval is. So let's just work out what that time interval is. We'll put a little t here, okay, first. Let's just mark it in, little t. Because we can do that by saying the acceleration, which we know is 2, is equal to the gradient here. That would be 4 divided by t. 4 divided by t. And so we can rearrange this equation to give that t equals 4 divided by 2 and that's going to mean that t is 2. 2 seconds then to accelerate. So if that's 2 seconds that means that this time here is now 30 seconds. Now this girl then runs at a constant speed of 4 meters per second until she catches her brother. Now when the sister catches her brother, they will both have traveled exactly the same distance. And that distance is given by the area under the graph. So what I'm saying is then that if we were to project down here and we were to say that this value here was the time t. The area under the green graph must equal the area under the red graph up to this point here. Let's just delete out that line. This is the point where they would both meet when both those areas were exactly the same. So what about the area then for the boy? Well we can see that the distance travelled by the boy 
let's just put it down distance traveled by boy distance by boy is going to equal the area of the rectangle which is going to be 1.5 times t 1.5 times t now as for the girl the distance traveled by the girl will be the area of the trapezium it's a trapezium because it's got the two parallel sides and the area of a trapezium is the sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart all divided by 2. So if we add the parallel sides together we've got this length which is going to be t minus 28 and we add that to this length up here which is going to be t minus 30 we multiply that by the distance apart which is 4 and we divide all the answer by 2 the area of a trapezium then and if we simplify this we've got t plus t which is 2t and then minus 28 minus 30 is minus 58 and we can cancel the 2 into the 4 giving us 2 and so if we expand the bracket we get 4t minus 116 now we know that both these distances covered must be exactly the same so we can say that therefore 1.5t must equal 4t minus 116 and so if we subtract 1.5t from both sides and add 116 to both sides we end up with 2.5t equals 116. Divide by 2.5 and you end up with t equaling 116 divided by 2.5 and that comes out at 46.4. 46.4 seconds. Now the question is calculate the time taken by the girl to reach her brother. Well 28 seconds had already gone by when she had left chatting her with her friend so therefore the time that she took must be the t minus 28 so if we just finish this off we can say that therefore the time taken by the girl time taken by girl equals t 46.4 minus the 28 and that's going to leave you with 18.4 seconds 18.4 seconds then it took the girl to reach her brother All right. well I hope that's given you an idea then of how to do questions like this I think looking back at this it would be a good idea if we just labeled each part of the graph as well just have some kind of key there okay well that brings us now to the end of this uh, particular type of question and I hope that as usual that has been of some help to you